Okay, so let's uh, let's finish today the talk about uh, line integrals. So the uh, I just noticed yesterday that uh, the integrals we used uh, basically had all the possible operations we learned in the past being integrated. Computing the work of field of forces, we had to integrate dot product. Computing the area, we had to integrate the vector product. And computing the length, we had to integrate something which is even not a product. And today we'll have to integrate something else we already started. But the setup is is about deformation of a rod. So what you think about is a straight rod and then you deform it so it becomes curved. And the question is how much work is needed to deform that straight rod? into that shape. Okay, so that's the basic problem for the whole day. So let's bring some mathematics. Uh, how do we describe the shape? Well, we probably parameterize. Right, so the shape is given as a function. Uh, let us stay for some time in a plane so that the deformation is flat and so we have parameterization the parameter goes from some number a to some number b so that this point is f of a that is f of b and we basically look only at the deform deformed shape and we assume that the straight rod had exactly the same length. So that's our first assumption. And that means that there is no stretching of the rod. We don't change the length. Okay, well then Then what? Well, then even staying with this uh, simple vague statement, uh, can we ask ourselves if an integral might be useful? So we check additivity. Right? If you cut the rod into two, if you imagine cutting it into two set pieces, two shorter rods, the work needed to bend to this shape and to that shape, isn't it the same as total work needed? Well, yes it is. So it's the additivity. And then what is differentiability? So let's check differentiability. Well, additivity is usually easy to check. Differentiability needs some work. So what do we do? We zoom in. Right? We zoom into this small short piece. And what do we observe in that short piece? Well, it's almost straight. Well, but you know, if the piece is straight, there is no question. The work is zero. 
And of course, zero is linear with respect to any parameter. It's linear with respect to anything. But we don't want that to be a reflection of differentiability, right? It's sort of nonsense. So how to even think about differentiability? You need the work to be linearly dependent on time. Yes, that's that's what I hope. Yes, uh, linearly dependent on that parameter. Uh, although in this case, it's hard to think of parameter as a time, right? Because there is nothing moving along the road. So this is just a formal variable to represent the point on the road. But let's keep that notation of time. Uh, well, what, what should I think about when I zoom in? Constant curvature. Aha, uh -huh, constant curvature, possibly. So I should not linearize, probably the whole thing, because that trivializes the problem immediately. So if I see constant curvature, the circle, then in this case, would you expect the work needed to be proportional to what? Well, what is it clearly proportional to? Because again, you see, uh, we cannot visualize t on the picture. What is it that we can, that we can visualize? Curvature. The curvature, yes. That's the radius of that circle. And, oh, but the curvature is not related to t at all. Right? So what is it that we can visualize? That is related to uh, Well, what was that in old problems that was related to T? Was well, displacement. So, what is it in this case that we we can hope to relate to T, and that we can still see on the picture? What about length? Is length proportional to t? Well, it's proportional in the sense that length is equal to the time spent multiplied by the speed, approximately. Right? So, so the length is proportional to the time. So then we have to realize, well, the work needed to bend the given length, is it proportional to length? Under this assumption of bending a circle. Is the work needed to bend that much equal to twice the work needed to bend a half of it? Is it four times work needed to bend the quarter. What's so special about this circle, about that assumption? Why are we talking about circle? Because that curve may look like parabola or not. Circle has constant curvature. So how, how does it translate to human language? So the curvature is the same even if you... Yes, even if I cut into pieces, the curvature is the same. So that means if I cut the whole piece in two equal lengths, then this piece looks exactly the same as that piece. Right? And these two pieces look exactly the same. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that 
if you take that piece and you take the other half, can you compare the works needed to bend those? Are those going to be the same? Well then, what about the total work needed to bend the whole thing? Isn't it twice the work needed to bend the half? Okay, well that's the argument. So the assumption of being a circle right, brings this symmetry, that invariance. It tells us that this piece is exactly the same as that, so the work needed is exactly the same. And that makes us hope that the work needed to bend any short piece is proportional to the length. Okay, so that's the hope that the integral might be helpful. We didn't prove anything, we didn't verify, we didn't verify the formulas yet, but we got some hope. 